host, Emma Doherty, and welcome back to this week's 970-70 show. On Tuesday, join us at the Randolph Stadium for girls' varsity soccer versus Rex Putnam at 7. Or join us on Thursday for the boys' varsity soccer versus Park Rose at 7. This week's football game is away on Friday at 7 in the St. Helens Stadium. If you're interested in going up to the mountain this year, make sure you sign up for the club fair um, for the ski or snowboard team on October 15th. The club fair will be held near the commons during lunch where you can walk around and explore all the fun new clubs we have to offer this year. Now Cindy is going to take us along to talk about how seniors can ask their teacher about letters of recommendation. Hey guys, Sydney here and today I'm going to share some tips and tricks I got from Miss Tucker about how to request and the proper way to go about um, asking for letters of recommendation. As far as steps go, the first step you should do when considering requesting a letter is checking if your school that you're applying to um, for sure needs letters. Some schools do, some schools don't. Um, as years go on, less and less schools are requiring them, so I would be sure to check those requirements on Naviance itself. After you figure out which schools you need letters for or send you a letter, then you're going to want to go to our class's Google Classroom um, and fill out your senior autobiography. It's nine personal questions so the teacher gets to know a little bit more about you personally. Then what you're going to want to do is think about a teacher who you had maybe freshman or sophomore year who you connected with who knows you pretty well as a student and you're going to first see if they show up on the Naviance list of teachers that will write letters. Uh, Ms. Tucker wanted me to mention that Mr. O'Connell is Still writing letters per request, you just have to shoot him an email. And then Miss Robbins and Mr. Fowler are for sure not writing um, letters of recommendation for this year. After you find that teacher, you're going to want to either go up to them in person or send them a personal email um, asking if they would write a letter for you. And then after you get the go ahead from them is when you check that box on Naviance that says request letter and that will officially send that teacher the request. Remember that teachers do it out of the kindness of their heart and are not required to actually write you a letter. So just be super kind, let them know when your deadline is so they can get that letter to you. And then after they finish the letter, they will either give it to you in an envelope, share it with you, it's up to the teacher. Sometimes you don't even see the letters um, and Miss Tucker or your school counsel will take it from there to send it to the college of choice. But be sure to thank your teachers with a thank you note email, gratitude, just appreciation in class, bring them a coffee, um, just because they are doing this out of the kindness of their heart. Thank you so much, Cindy. Now let's go join Alexis to see what everyone's favorite fall drinks are this year and how she feels about them. Hey everybody, we are trying a Starbucks drink today. <laughs> what is it called, Karina? It's a uh, iced chai with pumpkin cold foam. Iced chai. <laughs> iced chai. Ice chai with pumpkin cold foam. <laughs> All right, we're gonna switch draws in between shots. <laughs> okay, switch draws, Campbell. Okay. <laughs> she switched draws. All right, Campbell. Let's try it. I rate that like a nine out of ten. That was really good. Ten out of ten. Tastes like lots of chai, lots of fall in the air, lots of pumpkin patches. <laughs> she switched the straw. She switched. Caroline's so meek about it. She's no, like, mm. she's, she's gonna hate it. What do you, what's the rate? What's the rate? Two. Six. Six. Okay, okay. okay. That's kind of, that's kind of harsh for him. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, now you rate it. Well, I've already had it before. Yeah. So, uh, rating for the venti iced white mocha with oat milk, uh, no whipped cream, iced, uh, vanilla cold foam with caramel drizzle. Uh, my rating, 8.5 out of 10. 8.5 out of 10. Pumpkin spice latte was a. I'll give it a six out of ten. It's drinkable. That's generous. But I don't think I. That is generous. I don't think I would get it again. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually like. Oh, are we sitting? So, so here we are. We have Justine and Joey and Caitlin. You've seen Joey before. All the rest are new. So here we're. They didn't really. They didn't understand the assignment of fall drinks, so they just gave us two random drinks. So we have Garley Ice Latte, bro. I mean, what? And Garley Ice Latte, that's green. So, let's taste test. What? <laughs>
Alexis for bringing us along to try some fun fall drinks. Reminder, this Friday there's an assembly schedule. I hope everyone has a great week. See you later Wildcats.